I think it's fair to say that if you're interested in rune farming, you know about where I'm standing right now. We're standing at the Farum Great Bridge at the northeastern Demon Desert Land. And you'll have seen videos or people talking about this rune. We even have one on the channel now as a great way to farm souls uh, in a relatively simple and effective way. You come up this hill and you find these little guys. They're all over the place. There's an absolute ton of them. They have no poise and you can sneak up behind them and either one shot them or half their health and melee them over and over. And they're worth, as you can see, at the bottom right, a thousand souls. It's not too shabby, right? This is a really good rue. But what if there was a way to get double the souls that these guys provide without any risk, without actually having to fight the enemy, you could literally do it at level one. And it's also very close to where we're standing. Well, fortunately, that is in fact the case. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So hi, I'm Hollow. This is Rage Gaming Videos. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And let's do this quick guide on, hey, an alternative way to farm your runes. Maybe get double the runes if you're doing the other method. And it's also a lot safer. Now, you'll know that I'm standing at the Third Church of Marika if you know the other route, but I'm just going to show people who don't know it. If you want to come do this as soon as possible, maybe super early in the game, maybe you've not even explored the desert yet, here's how you get over to the location we need to be at. We're standing at the Third Church of Marika, which is at the very east side of Limgrave. You can follow the road from the Gatefront Ruins, or the Gatefront, where we've done that main story, and just keep running down this road, getting the bonfires, until eventually you reach the Third Church of Marika, which is where I'm standing. Now, we need to go behind it. As we run around the back of the church and into this sort of pond, you see some colors, some lights here, leading to a portal. Let's go through it. This will bring you here, at the top of the dragon barrel. And there's a fella standing here. We're going to just ignore him and run right past him and run down the hill. This might be familiar to you if you were just watching a second ago, because yes, it is, look, the little guys there on the sides. And as we run down this hill, we're going to get to the bonfire, or rather the grace, that we were talking about. Now, why this route that I'm about to show you is better, in my opinion, is because it's easier and safer. Anyone can do it. Instead of crossing this large bridge with the, the dragon on it, we're going to go down here to the smaller bridge along the side. So just follow my route. Now, there's something that you will need to watch out for when you do this. There's poison caltrops littered down this path on the side. So it will actually hit you and affect your horse if you're not careful. So we want to make sure that, you know, you're not running along those too aggressively. I'm going to drop down here just to make this quicker. Not really a big deal. And here is the road with the poison caltrops. You can see them on the ground. They're like spike balls. And also there are little guys here. The build-up's not too quick. Like you see, I just hit two. It's not really a big deal. But if you're just blindly running down there with all the enemies trying to tackle you from the full height of the hill, it's going to be bad. And there, ahead of me, as you can see, is the grace that we're going to. This is your starting point of this rune farming route. This grace is called Lens Rise. And we're just going to turn around and go down this hill. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And you can see people who have messed it up. Look at all these bloodstains. It's possible to mess it up. Run down here, right? Oh, this dude spawned behind me. I target him. I run to the left. He falls off. 2,000 souls. Not 1,000. 2,000. I didn't have to swing a sword. I didn't have to cast a spell. Doesn't matter what build I am. It didn't matter if I was literally naked and level 1. I didn't have to do anything. And I got 2,000 souls. I run back to the grace. Mount up again. We run straight back down. And guess what's going to happen? Can you guess what's going to happen? So I hold left, by the way, on the left side of the path. He spawns. I target him. I run to the left. He goes straight off the side. And he dies. Another interesting detail about this route, or any rune farming route, I suppose, is that any enemy in the game, such as this enemy, can spawn as a special enemy, a rune enemy. You'll see that it has two glowing eyes. Yeah, even this ball can have two glowing eyes. And they'll be yellow in the color of runes. That means that enemy is worth five times the amount of runes it normally would be. So 2,000 times five, it's 10,000 souls for a single run of this rune. I'm not certain of the actual percent chances for that to happen. But it can happen, 
And this is an incredibly successful way to get it to happen because you're repeatedly spawning the enemy. And every time it spawns, it has a chance to spawn as the extra rune enemy, right? That's wonderful. So yeah, just under 35k souls there. I would say this ain't too hard to run. And I would say it's also more runes than the little guys. And I would say you could do this naked at level 1. So in my opinion, this is not just an alternative route. This is the superior route. So now you know about it. I hope this has helped you guys. If it has, please drop a like on the video so I can make more videos like this. Got loads more Elden Ring content, guides, information, PSAs coming at you on Rage Gaming. But until next time, I guess I'll say goodbye. What are we going to do? Let's go into the fetal position. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.